Miss Connie White. Well, I like to go to Memphis, but I don't know the way. And I like to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? No, I'm kind of a freak myself. They're looking for you, too, you know. I just went out to get some cigarettes. You don't know anything, do you? I was sitting right here with a temperature of 101, and they took off their clothes and went at it right there on the rug. You're a real hell of a good person for putting up with me, that's all. Just find me dead one time. Just kill me. He had on a dress suit and patent leather shoes, and I could see he was a real gentleman. Don't make me hurt you. You're very kind and clever, but I could only let a really rich man love me. There's no one left to fly the plane! Don't give up so easily. Just change your approach. What approach would you like? How about something like, um, I would like to jump you. Think that would work? Stands a better chance than wanting to share a meaningful life together. I would like to jump you. Go jump yourself. I've been waiting for you, Ben. Did you see anyone uh, we know? Two men who look like police, and a third who just had to be FBI. If I think he sent someone to follow me, why, that means that I think he doesn't love me. And I probably am wrong, because I always think he doesn't love me, and I know he really loves me. So I'm having a contradiction with myself, do you understand? Why did you come here? I suppose you'd like me to show you something in a nice pair of legs. Legs? What would I do with legs? <laughs> well, he's never going to fall in love with you if from the waist down you look like the seafood special. I'm not Joe, sissy. I'm Joanne. What do you mean? Joanne. I mean that, unlike, apparently, all of you, I have undergone a change. You mean that all of this is for real? David, there is one place we can hide. While they call the FBI. It happens every night like that. It's just a nightmare. Just take the pills Doc Rob gave you and it'll go away. Fuckers want to fight, we'll give it to them. Anyway, I've felt for some time that the show's got too domestic. It needs more style, it needs to be sharper. Let me ask you something, little boy. Is your linguine ready for my plan? It's your great, great granddaddy Palmer's saber from the rebellion. These girls, you know, they come and they go, but your brother, you don't look around you. It's the two of you. What about you? No, it's the three of us, Mom. It's the four of us. He was just some guy. Your mom knew one night. And then she went off looking for him. And she found him, but he wouldn't have anything to do with her. She just wanted more for you, darling. She did. Your depravity has been expressed. And in the most provincial way. You must, Ada, Ada. You must. Turn to God. I achieve a lot of sympathy. <laughs> Someone might say, how could that rotten Clara go dike it up in the bathroom while her poor sightless husband can hardly manage the hors d'oeuvre? Myself, I'm not much of a reader. I 
I've got more of an E out. Let's go for a ride. We need to get out of this house. Honest, we do. Couldn't we use some country air? Something fresh to breathe? Yes, ma'am. We could do that. Couldn't we? It's all sickening and exciting all rolled up together. <laughs> I like you, Rosetta. I feel I understand you. Am I frightening you? Uh, a, a little bit. <sighs> so tell me what you need. I know that you think it is childish. Tonight is halloween -y. And to us, it is special. <laughs> so you are all invited to dinner. When sunny gets blue, Cocktails? I do a wicked Bloody Mary. You uh, remind me a lot of me when I was your age. Yeah? How come? You've got stars in your eyes. <laughs> you lived in New York? 21 years, baby. Suddenly, I understood the pain and the responsibility, looking down from that great height onto all those who could never touch the clouds, who never will. I was wondering if you had any astringent that could take uh, shoe polish out of the carpet. I think we've got something. See, my son spilled some polish on the stairway, and oh, I scrubbed and scrubbed away, but to no avail. You know, I've made a career of talking to men. I've seen so many faces in so many towns. Mm -hmm. We all start to look the damn same. I've just taken your father to the nursing home. He'll be better off there. Now let's get you some supper. Mom. Mom, I need to talk to you. No, I don't want to talk. I love it.